What impact do you want to have while alive? When you're gone. What's up? Let's need to to some more uh, interviews with of uh, David Goggins. What a dude, man! What a fucking dude. Um, David Goggins. G O G G I N S. Um, look him up. YouTube him. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll answer that question for myself. But, um, if anything, I would like uh, you guys to ask uh, yourself that question. What impact do you want to have while alive and when you're gone? Because I hear so much chicken fucking shit talk about. Yeah, I'm going to leave behind a fucking legacy. Of what? Legacy of what? Following the rules. Not pursuing your dreams. Only, um thinking about traveling, watching the Discovery Channel instead of going to those places. And me, when I see shit on the Discovery Channel, I say, hmm, I think I'll check that place out while I do this road trip for business. I don't get it when people say, I'm going to do a road trip for pleasure. As if uh, life, as if work is the... uh, as the work is a dungeon, a concentration camp. If a motherfucker work for me, and uh, he were to tell me, thank God it's Friday, my goodness, oh, it's Monday. Any, any work for my company? Thanks uh, for letting me know. But I'm pay for you to take this um, Monday and Friday off. I'm paying for those two days. But uh, don't come back after that. I don't need anyone with um, who doesn't want to be here around. And um, continue on my merry way. Some way, somehow, some fucking idiot will um, attempt to sue, so you gotta be real careful who the fuck you hire. <coughs> you know, before I started drawing, before I started recording here, I attempt to um, share my mind because. This is the easy part. This is the easy part. Drawing it, coloring it in. This is the simple part. Work it in. If it looks like a little too dark, well then we'll just move on to the lighter color. And uh, go from there. And I could be a bitch and I could say, oh my goodness, this is like getting boring. This is hard work. And in the distance, you can hear in the background, you can hear construction going on. Fuck that, man. Fuck that. Can I do that? Yeah. Do I want to do that? No, I'd rather be doing this. And some people will say, obviously, obviously you want to be there. And that's simply just saying, one person appreciating the choice to do something else that's more comfortable or being more effective. 
but how many of us can not can not can but do not or cannot comprehend that we do that with our own lives there are people coming here legally and illegally attempting to um, get into this sort of lifestyle to the American dream and we're like nah dog it's Friday dog kick, kick it homie kick it homie me I'm thinking oh shit it's Friday there's gonna be um, more traffic earlier and uh, more traffic later because everyone's going out Actually, you know, I'm thinking about maybe we should go uh, hang out with someone and relax. Relax a bit more. But then again, not, not even completely relax. I'm, I'm still going to take a, a, um, something to draw with. Remember, my sketch pad is not a sketch pad. It's fucking just a bundle of paper. I'm thinking just to go um, draw somewhere else. It'll keep me away from the camera here, this camera setup. Which isn't much. It's just a fucking uh, smartphone hanging in the air. No microphone. Thinking now, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want to do with? What impact do I want to have? Having earned this title, seeing my Latino, Latino heat roots. <coughs> if you if you know me personally, you know what other titles I got, what other careers I've done, what what other what other knowledge I have. Drinking my drug of ca caffeine. Coffee must have caffeine for it to um, be effective. And um, look, um, because I, man, it's, it's the year 2017, and uh, and we're st still hearing all this shit about <coughs> being oppressed, uh, the racism, Trump's <laughs> Trump's for my lunch money, uh, Trump is Hitler. Um, and and other things like that, and and me, I'm just uh, eating a sandwich, <laughs> sketching, <laughs> looking at that shit. Thinking, Wait, what? what? Really? And uh, that's interesting. Why the fuck would I vote for Hitler? I voted for Trump um, in the election. Voted uh, for Bernie first because I'm a registered Democrat in Los Angeles. But one thing that I hate more than um, socialism is corruption. At least uh, socialism will kill you a lot slower than corruption. <laughs> but, um. I'm drawing, designing, sketching, talking shit, um, spitting my fucking guts. Why? Because I don't want the next fucking generation of motherfuckers to be like, oh my goodness, should I draw this or not? Because I don't want to hurt no one's feelings. How about you fucking draw what you want, 
share your interpretation of life, of your imagination, and share it. Any fucking piece of shit, wimp, sissy, pansy, you know, I would call them a faggot, but I think faggot is, is not a good word because um, when I think of faggot, I think my, about my favorite faggot, the most dangerous faggot, which is Milo Yiannopoulos. And that would imply that homosexuality is wrong. And that guy, shit. That guy. I'm pretty sure he gets death threats, but that guy um, risk. <laughs> he risk. He does risk an ass beating for speaking, man. And he's British, so now I wouldn't say fag, because then I'd be like, oh, homosexuals. I like that. And no. My Leonopolis has got big brass, um, big brass balls. But uh, so when I say sissy and pansy, it is or cuck. I mean, just someone who's a fucking bitch. You could have big ass muscles, a big ass truck, a big ass motorcycle, a big ass house, and you're still a punk. I remember walking away from uh, not just one um, lucrative career to go on this path that um, pays me a lot, lot less. And um, there's, there's no security in this, none. Only, my only formula for me to succeed is consistency. Keep on learning, keep on sketching, keep on sharing, keep on networking, keep on selling. And uh, maybe one day, it's possible, I'll get a big whale of a deal somewhere. It's possible. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I can keep at it, man. Yeah. Because um, that feels like the right thing to do. Like the just thing to do. I just request for you guys to ask yourself that question. What impact do you want to have with your life? Because, again, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not tired enough, but I, I really hate seeing miserable faces. If you see my face, it'd be like, um, some to say I look pissed off, but I actually I'm just thinking, what should I do next? Hey, hi, how's it going? What's up? Excuse me. There are people that are just um, like beaten dogs, man. Beaten fucking dogs. Just. <sighs> it's so hard here in America. I got Wi Fi. I got Starbucks. I got, if not, I got Coffee Bean. If not, I got uh, Pete's Coffee here. Um, if not, I got. Um, Homemade coffee, if not, I got yum yum donuts coffee, if not, I got um, hot coffee or cold coffee or local coffee. Let me see what to figure out where to put this next balloon here. So I got Wi Fi, I got coffee, I got um, smartphones, I got um, apps, I got Uber, I got Lyft. 
I recommend you use Lyft over Uber. Uber CEO is a major fucking, fucking asshole. And, um, in my opinion. I always gotta say in my opinion so I don't get sued by some of these fucking giants. Alright, it's a balloon here. But, um, the hell was it? Yeah, so we have all these things around us, man, and we're like, oh, yeah, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know. I got kids. I got responsibilities. I got a job. I don't have the time. All right, then. You don't have the time. Quit. 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 Let me put an orange here. Quit. On your tombstone, make sure that uh, you... It reads which lived them. I coulda, I woulda, I shoulda. Is that is that what you want, man? Especially if you're a man. I'm a man. How many dudes have I broken? How many dudes have I broken their fucking eagles? It's happened more than once. These are men, tough men, bad guys. You know, I'm, here I'm not making them. Um, fun of uh, pain, nor sadness, nor tragedy, nope, but what I am saying is, to evaluate all those weaknesses, um, because you can't, you cannot protect uh, everybody, if you have a kid, a little brother, somebody taking care of, you cannot protect them all the time, the only thing you can do is make them smarter, Make them stronger, make them aware. And uh, many people, I believe, don't apply that um, that simple approach to their own life of like, fuck, if I don't take care of my fucking shit, I'm gonna end up working for this fucking company. Fucking loving Fridays, worshiping hump days, and fearing fucking Monday. To me, it's like don't, don't, don't do that, man. It, it, and everything that I say always comes down to the same point of um, poor little me. You know what, what do you expect me to do? It's like, you know, it was only my ancestors that uh, created the fucking pyramid, <laughs> created pyramids. Um, uh, with the bare fucking hands in Egypt in Mexico created Stonehenge wait Stonehenge and then uh, how the, and how the fuck they got that big ass rock on top where, where are those fucking uh, faces at again the ones um, those statues that uh, if, you, if you dig them up there's still the bodies in there made the holes and put them in there fuck that Yeah, fucking Vikings crossing. I'm not sure if they. I don't, I don't think they had compasses. Did they? I'm not sure. I don't know. But it took um, a while for uh, people to um, find the latitude, I believe. So for a while we were just I think going off with guts. Let me think of another string balloon here. Hold on. So, you know, all this shit was done with, uh, no, that's good. Maybe another, maybe another string here. But, um, like all this shit was done in the past. Our ancestors did. 
with fucking limited fucking technology. Oh no, I can't do it. Really? You can't fucking do it? You can't do it or you choose not to fucking do it. I remember being at times I would feel some sort of um, loneliness on the road or was the word solidarity because all of this sounds bad and creepy solidarity hold solitude a bit because I would be at a gas station way the fuck out somewhere where the fuck near outside some fucking desert <laughs> and I would think uh, with hundreds of millions of people in the US and just in the US man, why aren't there more people coming in through this gas station Traveling, following their dreams, saying, I want to visit here. There's fucking roads, motherfuckers, roads. It's not like, um, what was that shit called when they, um, traveled the, to the, to, to, um, to the west? It's no longer like that, man where um, you had to uh, get on your little buggy, your stagecoach, and uh, hire, um, if you could afford to hire mercenaries or bodyguards to cross the, uh, the mountains through unknown roads, unknown roads, through um, partially made roads, possibly traps, Searching for the new frontier. Ima imagine, oh man, what what fucking men were out there, man? What fucking men? It says, honey, son, daughter. We could just be here and um, be a bunch of fucking lame motherfuckers, or we can go on an adventure, explore, and you know, make something happen out there. Out there. There has to be opportunity out there. This is America. And, uh, before you know it, they're crossing. Of course, of course some of them die, right? But, shit. If it wasn't for those motherfuckers, we wouldn't have California. That's what, now it's filled with a bunch of sissies, you know? Oh my god. That road trip, it seems a little, a little too far. What if my, what if my iPhone dies? <laughs> and get lost. And we just have to walk down the road and get gas. Alright. Man, my flat tire today is no problem, right? Because you can just pay someone to buy, uh, your spare tire, but imagine back then getting your your wagon broken, having wood to fix that motherfucker, nails, and what if, the, what if your horse gets sick? You know, you know and it's so much more of a um, of a luxury now, man. Too hard. I've done my traveling. There's still there's still more to do. A lot more to do. Yeah, again, I'd be at these gas stations. I'd be like, oh, like I'm thinking, even if you, I forget. American population, but even out of the hundreds of millions, even if there were just a million people out in rotation, 
um, pursuing their dreams. Are there many gas stations? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know the numbers of that exactly, but I would think that I would um, run uh, into more people, man. Run into more more people say, yeah, dog, this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm expanding this business, so I'm um, going here to go learn this. Go train with this person to go see this site, to go study, to get motivation, to learn from it. But, um, oh man, it, it's not like that. And I understand that we all, you know, we're not all fucking uh, Rockefeller. You know, fucking the gas money doesn't, um, and grow on trees. Gas is not free, but you know, I believe that when you ask yourself, you know, what am I good at, not good at? What product or service can I provide to the world? And then plug it into um, the system of capitalism. Much as possible, man. Much as possible. Much as possible, man. Again, it sounds. Again, I am. That doesn't sound. I am beating the fucking same horse over and over and over again. But because it's so common to just see all these lame fucks. All these fucking pity parties, all these participation trophies, all these woe is me, all these um, I'm a victim attitudes. If I don't speak up on it, you'll you will start to believe those myths, twisted myths, weak myths, and I think that's bad for your health, bad for your mind. Bad for your loved ones, bad for society, bad for your country, bad for your neighborhood, bad overall, ineffective, ineffective, ineffective for reaching your potential to realizing who you are. 